Hello? Who? The boss. <laughs> the bishop? No. Why? Hail Mary, full of grace, you bitch. Bless me, O oh heavenly Father. One shut up. What is your name? So that I might know whom Christ will speak to. Felix. Behold. O oh, kind and sweet Jesus, I cast myself on my knees in thy light, and with the fervent desire of my soul, I pray and beseech thee to speak unto Felix and reveal yourself for the sake of my niece. He's not listening. Help me.
She was so calm. You need to get up. How could she be so calm? Did they tell you that she sang? You told me. That's right. Wash your hands, Bob. District Attorney James Cress has dropped the charges against the infamous killer priest Mark Butler. Butler shot to fame when he brutally beat to death Felix Rungo, who allegedly murdered Butler's sister, her husband, and her 14-year-old niece. Bless me, Your Excellency, for I have sinned. Go ahead, Father. You know you are safe here. I am well aware of the rules of confession. Then what? My sin. My sin was my passivity. The official report states that it, it was self-defense. There is quite a difference between an official report and the truth. He had a knife. You took a defenseless life. He was a monster who deserved his fate. How did you defeat the killer? The fury of God. No. The anger of a man. Zooming you around the world in 60 minutes. This is WDER. Our investigative reporter, Linda Levens, has reported that Rungo was the victim of being at the wrong place at the wrong time, and that Father Mark had received a substantial insurance payment from the deaths of his family. Mark! Linda Levinson. He doesn't want to hear your questions. Did you know your killer? He doesn't want to hear your questions. Was, was he one of your old altar boys? Show some respect. Oh. But what death can be unjust when inflicted upon a murderer? Kill a human being in whom the image of God is present is a mortal sin. So the real question is, whether the image of God was present in the end. You know it was. If the image of God sliced the throat of my niece, if I believed that, I would be unable to serve him. So explain this to me. How is the image of God not present in him? Because he killed them. That is a circular argument. It's not about logic, but justice. No, it's you seeking justification for your anger. Father Mark, I have a simple question. Did he pay the price for the sins of Felix? Yes. And what right did you have to beat him to death? None. Except their blood. You must seek his forgiveness. How can I seek his forgiveness if I am not sorry for what I committed? You cannot. Then I am doomed to live in a state of sin forever. No. Christ understands. 
Your Excellency, I don't understand. Sin is the rebellion against God's will. Your rebellion is the inability to forgive Felix as Christ forgives you. Did he scream, Father? Tell me, did he scream? Felix wanted to hear God, so I delivered Felix to him. Bishop Costa has stated that Father Mark will be reassigned to a Capuchin friary. Who are you? What are you? Jesus! <gasps> Help me. St. Anne. Save me from every danger that confronts me in life and help me at the hour of death that so I may come in safety to paradise there to sing with thee, O most happy mother, the praises of the word of God made man and the mother of the most pure daughter the Virgin Mary. Amen. I'm being followed. Followed? By whom? 
a man wearing a hoodie. Only I glimpsed a portion of his face. Could he be seeking revenge? No. If it was, if I felt that, I would go to the police. What did you feel when he was near? I see cold, stronger than I've ever experienced. Evil mixed with a desire for something warm. And it lingered and then returned in the night. Even if he was not present. Fourteenth rule. Likewise, he behaves as a chief, bent on conquering and robbing what he desires. As a captain in chief of the army, pitching his camp and looking at the forces or defenses of a stronghold, attacks it on the weaker side in like manner, the enemy of human nature. Roaming about, looks in turn at all our virtues, theological cardinal and moral, and where he finds us weakest and most in need for our eternal salvation, there he attacks us and aims at taking us. Your very soul is in danger. I will not be repentant of taking that monster's life. mention that? Or did you? Father, you know how to use this gun? You aim, you pull the trigger. Seemed to me the only hard part then would be the third. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. In the blood of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. <laughs> the body of Christ. body of Christ.
it wasn't meant for you. Pick up your touch. Drop. Bomb. Limited man, but she took pictures. I know, Your Excellency, and I'm willing to begin the dispensation process to protect the church. Killed before. Not as often as I. Home sweet home. You killed her. To be fair, it was both. What do you mean? She was gonna put you on the news. That would not. You're helping me. That is a very Tony Robbins way of looking at things. Ninety-nine Lake. Rise from the dead. If you plan on killing me, go ahead. If I wanted you dead, you would be. But you're not dead. 
Yes, priest, I need you. To cure me. I'm not a psychologist. Do you think I need a shrink? You're insane. You murder people. So does everyone. Who has power? You killed innocents. Innocent. You only see me kill journalists. I chose you because you're different, priest. Different? Yes, priest. That's right. You and I are a lot alike. We're like kindred spirits. We're like the same. We're kindred spirits. We are nothing alike. That's better. There's that twinkle of anger in your eye. And of course we're like. We both deserve to die. Deserve to not. We both wanted her dead. I would never have killed her. Yeah, maybe not. But when you saw her dead, did you cry? Or did you feel a moment of relief? That's something I can work with. Now this fear, only a priest can. So, I'd rather die. Breathe, priest. Are you trying to live? Yeah. You're a monster. Yeah. Of course I am. So are you. The difference is, I didn't choose to be one. Neither did I. It's been a while, but it's true. Care to hear the story? No. It was the age of reason. And I believed it all. I understand you're not religious. So why the painting? The painting entertains the superstitious. can't be too obvious in your disdain for the opium of the masses. Religion is imbecilic, isn't it? Too kind of a word. They actually believe some carpenter Jew was the son of God, and he rose from the dead. The dead can't return, can they? As a physician, I assure you, no one has ever died and then risen. I paid well for the experience. Be patient. The best things take time. Some men don't have time. You will now.
You're a vampire? Duh. There's many names. That's what they call me. Until they came for me. They burned my house down, priests. And I had a nice house, not like this shit old. It's all that horror for Beezus' fault. I didn't deserve any of this. Of course not. You got a real problem with honesty, you know that? I don't know if I can depend on you to deliver this favor. It depends on the favor. Favor is, I need blood. The stuff that you make. That's what you did last night and you, you threw it up. You bring up the past more than a woman, you know? I need real blood from your daddy. The guy you devote your whole life to. Give up everything for him. Why do you think it didn't work, Priest? That that stuff you gave me made me throw up? Because you can only drink physical blood. Ding, ding, ding. People, we have a winner. Do you think that it didn't work because I don't believe in it? Is that what you think? It's unnatural. The miracle did work. You don't see it because you're unnatural and you lack faith. Wrong. I wouldn't have tried it if I didn't believe it. I believe it more than you, probably, quitter. I found out what the cure is on the internet. It's funny, I read old books for a century looking for a cure. And then some guy named Fuzzy in Philadelphia makes a search engine. And I find out what the cure is. And it's blood. I found the cure for vampirism on the internet. I found out what the cure is using the internet. Okay? The cure is blood. It has to be God's will. I know. How? You'll find out. For now, I gotta go. But you are gonna stay here and make that miracle happen. I'll escape. No, you won't. So, kill the whole family. The young girl, same age as your niece, is all gonna die in front of you. I'm gonna kill you. I don't care if they die. Oh, yeah? Thank <laughs> you.
just want to die. But I get what I want. You're taking me down here to kill me, aren't you? Do I look like a liar? No. No, I'll tell you, no one will die if I get what I want. No. Yeah, I mean, yes. You want for you to be quiet. So I can catch you. Because if I fail, I may die. Father Mark! Father Mark! Father Mark, that smell of, of AB negative blood is quite enticing. Cola. Why do you. Why do you want to leave me, priest? Are you not happy? Here, priest, not happy. After everything I've given you, after everything we've been through, priest, just run away. Marco Polo. Marco. Marco. Why are you leaving the party? Save Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the world. And God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, and by the power of God, cast to do, and Satan and all evil spirits shall one and seek him in the souls. Amen. I'm sorry. I know you are, Priest. Back to the business at hand. This is Gordon. Gordon is going to die unless you get big guy with me. You cannot force the will of God. But if he doesn't act, well, Gordon gets to visit him forever. Then I should hear Gordon's confession. We don't have time for this. If you want God to listen, we must follow his rules, not yours. Fine. Is this my last rites? I'm afraid I know she has much time before you fail, my child. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I have no idea how long it's been since my last confession. Please, continue. Woman. We don't have much time. I 
didn't mean it. I cheated on her with her sister. Father. I was so lonely. I just wanted someone. She was so focused on Sarah. My goodness, I am so sorry. It was pray the act of contrition. No penance. This situation is penance enough. My God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart. In choosing to do wrong and failing to do good, I have sinned against you whom I should love above all things. I firmly intend to do penance, to sin no more, and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, suffered and died for us. In his name, my God, have mercy. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sin. Through the ministry of the church, man, God, give you pardon and peace. And I absolve you from your sin. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. He took this precious chalice in his holy and vengeable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. complete the mess. Wine, not blood. You didn't listen. The process of transubstantiation should have already taken place. He doesn't deserve to die. He cheated on his wife. She was a good woman. She offered to trade herself to save your rotten soul. She did? I don't deserve to live. See, he agrees. Please don't do this. I don't deserve to live. Sam, <laughs> 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 I 
Taylor is daddy. You don't deserve salvation. I don't want his salvation, priest. I want his blood. Why would I want forgiveness from him? I've been alive way too long. I've seen all the rotten things he allows. You don't really become a fan. He gave us free will. It is for us to decide between what is good and evil. Well, it's all knowing and eternal, right? And then we have to figure out what he wants. And then if we mess up, we're punished eternally. What a great system, priests. You're perverting his will. He leads us to what is good. If we follow his will, how can we be good? We'd be nothing but slaves. Next year, when to tell me that he hears our prayers. He does. Then why is Gordon dead? Did he not hear his prayers? Let me ask you something. Has he ever turned wine into blood? Yes. Has he done it in the past? Yes! The Gordon's just not worthy for the miracle. But he's a tax man, right? No one likes a tax man. Not even God. We cannot command him. We can't command him. We just have to hope and obey, right? Something bad happens, it's our fault. Something good happens, it's his fault. No. It falls on the just and the unjust. So what does he do? He forgives us for the sacrifice of his son. He makes the rules and then murders his son on a cross to justify us breaking those rules. Yes, out of love. You should listen to yourself. Better yet, get him to listen. I'm not listening. I'm not buying it. words. Why are you torturing me? Why am I here with this monster? Monsters everywhere. You just let them. You just let them kill. That man, he did not deserve to die. My brother-in-law did not deserve to die. My sister did not deserve to die. My niece, my innocent little niece, why did she die? She did not. Holy Mother, why, why? She loved you. She was devoted to you. She did not deserve to have a ghost there. And I will not ask for forgiveness for beating that man to death. He deserved it. He deserved it.
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask a blessed ever virgin, all the angels and saints and you, my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. That was fun to watch. Really fun. It's like a virtual pity party down here. Where's the mother? I was going to get her. And then I heard a racket and I was like, whatever could Father Mark be doing? I didn't think it'd be a pity party. My father always said, if there was ever a problem, Father Costa would fix it. I can't fix what I don't know what's going on. Right. Why don't you come back tomorrow? I got somebody coming in a few minutes. There won't be a tomorrow for me! Alright, have a seat. I cannot do this. Why? You couldn't do anything. You're just a vessel. Like a big puppet. You know? Work through me, Lord. Move my hand that way. Move the leg that way. Say it this way. Say it this way. Tied up on strings. Work through me, Lord. It's not like that. Because he loves you, I get it. Just like I love my puppet. That gives me an idea. Priest! Meet my puppet. Father, what's going on? What? Be true love. I guess not. Robbie, look at me. You need to put your shame aside. You need to tell me the truth. Come on. Okay. It's about my girlfriend. Well, she's not really my girlfriend, it's, it's more like a booty call thing. You know, like that movie with Jamie Foxx, you know, minus the shenanigans and, you know, I have a condom ready. But, uh, and it's only when she wants it, never when I want it. I mean, so she called me early in the day and she was saying, you know, she wants some of the cannoli and the Italian pastries. And so, and I'm, I'm really not allowed to say no, or else I would lose my job. Are you talking about Linda Levins? Yes. So, priests, have you changed your mind? Can you make him hear your prayer? I need more time. Time, time, time. You always need more time. I think you're stalling. No, I, I need to pray with her. Beg the Blessed Mother to intercede on her behalf. Let me get this straight. You need to talk to your mommy now, not your daddy. 
Do you want this to work or not? I don't care how you get it done. Just get it done. Then let me pray with her. Do as you wish. Why? Why is this happening? He's going to kill my child. He's going to kill all of us. Our only hope is for you to be calm. What is your name, my child? Anna. Like the blessed mother's mother. Anna, we need to ask for the intercession of Mary. Do you remember your prayers? Yes. Yes, I remember. Good. Then follow me. Give me that now. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My daughter! Back, foul demon, in the name of Christ! Where's your daughter? I don't know. He kept me blindfolded. You don't have time to find her. You need to get out of here. You won't leave my daughter. This is your daughter's only chance. Listen, you leave and I'll go back and battle him. Go straight to Bishop Costa and he'll bring an army of priests. Understood? Yes. Call the priest. No! Do it. Or make your daughter just like me. You wouldn't. Sure I would. It'd be fun. She'd be tasty. Or you could call the priest. Father Mark. Father Mark. Help me. <laughs> I'll kill her. Then you'll have no leverage. Drop the cross. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I didn't mean to do I didn't mean to do anything to hurt her. It's, what did you do? I'm gonna end up just like Scott Peterson. And I don't wanna meet Nancy Grace. She scares the shit out of me. She will make you admit to something that you didn't even do. Tell me what happened. That's the thing. I don't know what happened to her. She didn't come to our like our overtime, as she likes to call it. And she'll bring anything. Beer, vodka, right, tequila, right. patron, anything. All right, all right. I hate to say this, but go on. Well, because well, all I'm saying is that it's not like her to miss even a second of this. Because when she wants it, oh boy, she wants it. Like, you know, you know how much she wants it? It's like... You ever see like in wrestling, you know, like the Bronco Buster when Mae Young or Tori Wilson will Listen. just jump on the person and she's like just like this, bouncing Robbie, up and Robbie. down the Is she alive? Do you know where she is? Is she alive? How the fuck am I supposed to know if she's alive? I didn't manage to find a dead body, but I did find her car down the street and her phone. She took some video. Father Mark? Yeah. How did you... Well, he had a gun. Did you know that? Maybe he killed her. Well, one, I do know things. 
and two. Let's hope not. Let me see if anything. I need to hear your confession. My last rites? Very likely. Yeah. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been months since my last confession. Go on, my child. Father, I ignored my husband, putting our child first and never making time for him as a wife. Yeah, that's for damn sure. What does he mean? I cannot say. This is so much fun. What does he mean? His lips are sealed in my arm. You enjoy this. This I enjoy. Not being a vampire too much anymore. You tell me. Do you really want to know? Yes, I deserve to know. All right, fine. Your little Gordon is quite the lover boy. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I drove my husband into the arms of another woman. Not just any woman. Can I tell you? Who? Who is she? I would like your property. Why don't you give me a little kiss? No! Show the priest what he's been missing. Screw you! That sounds fun. I need a little blood from my junk to rub. You're wasting time, vampire. Fine. Hope for my daughter is what? That God chooses the miracle of the Eucharist. I will forgive others as I wish to be forgiven. Bless me, Father. I have sinned. I allowed anger enter my heart against my sister. And I drove my husband into her. My selfishness has caused others to stop. For the other, I'm true. Pray the act of contrition. No. Penance. Give me penance. No shortcuts. Say one Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb of Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let me have the contrition. My God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart. In choosing to do wrong, and failing to do good, I have sinned against you whom I should love more than anything. I firmly intend with your help to do penance, to sin no more, and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, suffered and died for us. In his name, my God, God the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for forgiveness. Through the ministry of the Church, man, God, I give you pardon and peace, and I absolve your sin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Here's
dominium es Cristo filium de nigentium et ex patris natova domia sucula deum de Dio lumen de lumen de Verum de Deo, verum gentium non facto, consubstantievo, patri pecium, amnia facta, sum qui propter nos, amnia et propter nostram salutem de santite chali. It's working, it's working, it's working. I must complete the mass. With heart <gasps> and fin libre mercy hato just we and fin libre it's working it's working I believe it <laughs> You don't let me complete the mess. It takes a moment. It's Christ's blood, right? It's Christ's blood. Yes. It's Christ's blood. It's, it's, just give me a moment. It takes a moment. It takes a moment. I can feel it. God, please take me back. God, take me back. Make me. Me. Was this the car that you saw? I drove past it. Some badly dressed looking dude was driving it. I mean, not not like me. I'm goodly dressed. I mean, look at look how good this shirt looks, and look how my chain fits with the chest here. The, I got orange pants to match that bright ass yellow jacket that Linda wears all the time. Was he in a red hoodie? Yeah. Why were you so sure? It always works. works. Blood never fails. So, you believe? Don't believe. I know. Ying yang. Can't be a vampire for under 50 years without knowing about the big three. Always out there causing trouble. He's toying with me. Why would he do that? Why my vampire? We're all just ants to him. If you believed that, you wouldn't have taken any hostages. You know that he cares. No what? You're right. Let me go! No, please, baby, please. I need you. How will that help you? Give me his attention. Obviously, he likes you more than Gordon there. And I don't blame him. I like moms too. Does their veins still stay tight? You're sick! 
No, baby. Stop! Please. Please. What do you really want? I want him to listen. And I have better rights. What if you, you're wrong? You know it worked with Anna. So why don't you keep her alive for now as backup? And you can always kill her later. I like the way you think. Okay, on. Go. Finish that. The car should be parked around here. Wait. Where's the car? I don't see a car. Yep, I'm screwed. You monster! Mommy! Jesus! Dara, stop! Or he will kill your mother. Latin words. I'm aware. Can you give a message to your daddy for me? If you wish. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't tell him I'm going to make an army of vampires. Starting with you three, I'll get what I want. Do you know why I said the mess? Because you don't want these precious souls to die. No. I said the mass to prepare them for their earthly death and eternal life. I'm surprised you didn't understand that. Yeah, well lucky for me, you're not in charge. God will help you. Why, because I killed your daddy? Trust me, he deserved it. So the badly dressed dude grabbed Linda? He's really not a dude. The undead cannot be killed by, by the undead. He's so holy before I... I'm not holy. I'm the killer priest, remember? Oh. Oh. Anyone consume the host? No. You have to be baptized Catholic. Accepted into the faith. And if they've committed a grave sin, confess. Doesn't explain why his blood failed to heal me. Actually, it does. It's brilliant, Hannah. The blood ailing is because it's his will that they be healed. What are you two babbling about? Redemption. You cannot be cured without redemption. So say a bunch of words and it's all good. You must be redeemed. And that requires an honest confession. Were you baptized as a child? Oh, where you put water on people's heads, the sprinkling stuff? Yeah, my parents did it. Then all we need to do is confirm you in the faith and hear your honest confession. Mm. And you must do penance. Can talk about all the rotten stuff I did, right? You say some mama jumbo, and I'm, I'm forgive it, forget it. Yeah. Yes. Yash, let's begin 
simply, why did you not bite Gordon and turn him into a vampire? He didn't deserve it. So you have to be good to be a vampire. And tell us the truth. I don't want to. You want to be healed, but you don't like who you are. You don't feel... You don't feel good enough. Because being a vampire sucks, okay? Everyone you talk to is food. Would you like your steak to talk to you? It would make it hard to eat. Yeah, see? She gets it. First, it's fun. Seducing, mesmerizing all the women. You wouldn't know anything about that. But it's fun. But then, you start to hear them all the time in your sleep. And I sleep all the time, priest. So you want to drain all of us? Like to isn't the word. Need to. I need to drain you, priest. And I like you. I need to drain those that I like. Because I would understand the anger. The hunger. What about Anna and her daughter? Anna was my mother's name. So it wasn't an accident. You chose her. No. I wanted someone hard to kill. Gordon was easy. Gordon was a cuck. I don't like cucks. You see, this is what confession is. Mm -hmm. It's an honest discussion. What are you asking for? Mm -hmm. Is it priest? Yes. From him, right? Why doesn't he ask for forgiveness from us? You and I both know a really shitty place. If I liked it, why would I have day wears? Day wears? Yes, day wears. I sleep during the day. You need to repent of your sins. You didn't, why should I? I killed an unjust man. I thought no one was just through their own hand, but by his sacrifices. He was not innocent. Who is? Father, what did you do? I killed the murderer of my sister, her husband. And my niece. How? With these bare hands. Don't forget to say he didn't fight back. Why did you do it? Justice. So you took God's judgment into your hands? It was righteous. What was his name? Felix have a chance to repent? No. So you condemned him to eternal torment? <sighs> I chose revenge over love. I took the rightful place of God in judgment and committed the most mortal of sins by taking another. I confess to Almighty God and to the Blessed Mary and Virgin 
into the blessed Michael the Archangel, into the blessed John the Baptist, and to the holy apostles Peter and Paul, and to all the saints, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed. In my fault, in my fault, in my most grievous fault. Therefore I pray to the blessed Mary Ever Virgin, to the blessed Michael the Archangel, and to the blessed John the Baptist, and to the holy apostles and all the saints. That you pray for me to the Lord, our God. I will fight you no more. I give you my life, my guidance, and all that I am to help you find freedom and salvation through Christ and his blood. You're not lying. Do you know the words? No. Nope. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I have never confessed. Go on, my child. I've murdered for over 140 years thousands of men and women, mostly women. Each murder, I despise myself more. I was driven by this madness, this curse to hunt, to pierce their flesh, and to drink their blood. I've cursed you for my existence, God. There was no debauchery that was enough. First I enjoyed it, I loved it. And then I heard their voices and saw their faces when I fell asleep. Did you try to stop? I tried everything. I'm a physician train in medicine, try cure after cure, anything to end this existence. Everything led me back to the drink. And what led you to seek forgiveness? You and Anna, and this invisible hand around me. And do you seek forgiveness? Yes, but I can't allow you to do it. As a representative of Christ, I most assuredly must. I'm not gonna let you give me a slap on the wrist for hundreds of... Why would you care? You don't deserve it. No one is deserving. Yet he paid the price. And so I carry the burden as a priest. I won't let you do it. I just allow it not after what I saw tonight. Everything, not after you. Let me ask you this. Are you truly sorry for what you did? May God the Father of mercy, through the death and resurrection of his Son, who reconciled the world to himself and set the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the church, man, God, I give you pardon and peace, and I absolve your sin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're a fool. Amen.
All I ask is for one penance for taking on a century of sins. Anything. That you let Anna and Sarah go. Do you renounce Satan and all his works? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried? rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Yeah. There they are. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ I have nothing to use as chrism. Which saint shall you choose as your name? Saint Dismas. Has he been confirmed? I performed the right. I had no chrism. And no bishop. Luckily, I have both. What name have you taken? Saint Dismas. The blessed thief on the cross. Made a saint by Jesus Christ himself. You know this is going to hurt you, my child. Dismas, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. He's ready to receive. The body of Christ am I worthy
over. You're welcome, my child. Your Excellency, I'm ready for my confession. Oh,